Hey everyone, welcome back to Vita Define. I want to share some tips with you on how to travel with a pet. And I actually have notes right here, so don't mind me if I look down every now and then. So dog boarding can get very expensive. Um, I've boarded my dog before. It's about $50 a day at the daycare that I take my dog to. Therefore, traveling with your pet is probably a better idea, especially if you're deciding to, if you've decided to travel for a long period of time. So if I'm traveling for 14 days, for example, I think that might cost me about $700 to leave my dog um, at, a, at, a, at a boarding place versus if I travel with him, it'll be between 100, 125 one way. So here are some tips for you. For one, you wanna make sure that you do your research. Um, decide whether you wanna have your dog shipped or if you wanna have your dog on the plane with you and you have to make sure that your dog fits underneath the seat. So I've never shipped a dog before. There's a lot of research out there. There's also contra controversy about it as whether it's safe to do that. Um, but my tips today come from the perspective of flying with a, do with a dog on the plane. So um, my dog is eight pounds. So you would have to figure out how big your dog is. Um, is he, he or she small enough to fit underneath the, the chair? Now, you want to make sure that you have a bag for your dog. You want to make sure that it's in accordance with the airline um, that you're traveling on. So, so you do want to do your research, right? You want to go on Delta.com or American Airlines or Frontier and figure out what size bag they allow. Because what you don't want to happen is for you to get there and you have your dog and you're ready to, to board the plane just to find out that your, your bag is a little too big. And to be honest with you, that space is pretty small. So I could definitely see why some dogs are very uncomfortable, probably most dogs, quite honestly, to be underneath um, a chair for so long. So let me show you the size that I have. This is the bag that I have. And as you can see, my ticket is still on there. When you bring in your bag and they check you in, um, they'll have your bag marked, especially if you fly with Delta. So I flew with Delta and they'll have you put your name, um, the date that you're flying, and they will fill out the um, flight and seat number. Actually, they will do this for you. My bad. They, they will actually fill it out for you, but they'll hand you the ticket so you can put it there on there for yourself. But you have to like sign your name and the date. And there's like the terms of travel uh, on, um, listed on there as well. So that's the first thing you want to do. And this bag, I got it from uh, Home Goods. So I got this from HomeGood and it came with the little ticket here that says um, pet travel ID. So that was all I needed to know. I was like, you know what? There's a plane. This must mean that it could fit underneath the chair. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm not sure if you guys can see well. And I have a little toy. So you can make sure you bring a toy for your pet. A little toy in there for him. And so that's the first thing you want to do. You want to pick up one of these. I think this cost me like $25. Sorry, you guys. My phone just fell. Um, this cost like $25, I believe. Um, I would say go somewhere where it's more affordable, like Walmart, because I've seen these for like 70 bucks at Petco and PetSmart. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm not paying 70 bucks for this small little bag. So that's the first thing you want to do. Um, once again, you want to make sure that your dog fits comfortably in here. Well, another tip that I have prior to flying, let's say you know you're going to take a trip in three months and you know you're going to be taking your dog. When you go out, take your dog in this bag. Like just put them in the bag when you go out to the grocery store, taking them to the park, bring this bag with you and put him, put him or her. When I say him, I mean my dog is a, is a, is a boy. Um, Put them in the bag. That's one thing that I did not do. And let me tell you, I have a horror story. Practice and make sure that he or she is okay and is used to this bag. Um, so if you know well in advance that you'll be traveling, definitely. If you're going out to run some errands, put your dog in the bag. So he or she could get used to it. You can train him or her as well. I'm just going to keep saying him, okay, because I'm tired of trying to say him or her. You could try, train him as well, put little treats in there, leave it out in the living room so he could come in every now and then so he could get comfortable. So that's definitely two things that you wanna do. 
Um, take your dog to the vet to get any medication or give them some shots. Um, and there's some like dog chews as well. They sell at Petco or Walmart. To be honest, it didn't work for my dog. My dog is a puppy and the first time I traveled with him, I had him for about five or six months, I think. Actually, no, no, it was almost a year. Almost a year and this dog, story time, this dog went berserk. So I took my dog on the plane with this little baggie and when I was walking through the airport with him in here, he was just fine. Like he wasn't barking or anything. So adorable. Um, yeah, I got on the plane. Y'all, let me tell you something. This dog went crazy. That's why I say practice. Practice or take him to the vet to get some, some medicine. When I say he was barking for like 25, 30 minutes straight, I thought that they were going to kick me off the plane. And I, I was, <laughs> it was so embarrassing. I've never. I was so embarrassed that I was literally texting my siblings. Why is this coming up on my um on my laptop? I was texting my siblings that I am so distraught right now that I don't know what to do. Like this was crazy. I didn't know what to do. I was panicking. The people next to me were like, "Ma'am." You know, is there any way we could help? Do you think he's thirsty? And I was like, I literally, because by the way, you can't just leave your dog out, right? Because some people on the plane might be um, allergic. And also, that's a liability. If your dog bites someone, then imagine getting sued over that. So I opened the bag and I'm like, it's okay, boo boo. Let me tell y'all, yeah, this dog got angry with me. He's like, Arr. I was like, so the people next to me were like, you want some water? I literally poured some water in my hand. And I was like, here, be quiet. The flight attendants were staring at me. Let me tell you, I've never had so much anxiety. <laughs> and it was going on and on. People were putting their headphones on. People were just turning around like, dang, this girl. And my dog acted as, as if I was even his mother. He was just looking at me like, who are you? I don't know who you are. So there was like a mental countdown in my head. I was like, Lord, what is this experience going to be over? Like my palms were sweating. Like when I tell you, I thought they were going to kick me off. I really thought, I've never heard a dog bark. Have you ever heard a dog bark consistently on a plane before? While my dog is barking, a baby starts crying in the back and I'm just like, Lord, if I could just find favor in your sight. I gave him treats. He was spitting it out. He just was not having it. And by the way, it's kind of warm down there sometimes well, at the beginning. So you want to turn your little air conditioner thing in this direction. I don't know what you call it. A little knob. Um, so make sure you get practice so you won't end up like me. I really thought they were going to kick me off. I mean, when I got home, when I got home, when I got to my destination, I literally complained so much that my parents felt so bad. They were just like, you're going to have to get some medication for this dog. And of course, my mom was just like, who cares what they think? But I'm like, I'm so traumatized. Anyway, so you can pay for your dog, dog ticket when you get to the airport. But one thing I would recommend is, let's say you're flying Delta, right? You know you're going to travel with Delta. Call Delta and say, hey, you know, I want to get my ticket. I'm just wondering if you have any more room for um, a puppy. I would like to bring my puppy or my dog. And the reason you want to do this is because certain airlines have limits on how many pets could board the plane. So always do that. Always confirm with them that they have a, a spot available for you. I heard it was three, but I'm not sure because my last flight, there was like three or four dogs on that flight, let me tell you. And it, it was with Delta. So I'm not sure what the limit is, but I always call and confirm. And certain airlines will allow you, like Frontier, for example, told me that I could pay over the phone. The ticket for Frontier for a dog is $100 one way. So that's $200 two way. As for Delta is 125, I believe. Yeah, 125. So that's like 250. And you don't pay 250 like right then and there. You pay the one way. So when I got to when I got to Delta, when I got there to the um, the agent, I just paid my 125 and got my ticket. Whereas Frontier said, well, you can pay the hundred dollars over the phone if you want. Now I didn't want to do that because I'm like, if I get there and there's any issues and I can't fly with my dog. Now I'm here like trying to argue over giving me a hundred dollar refund. I would rather not argue about a refund. So I just pay when I get there. So keep that in mind. 
Um, so yeah, I do recommend paying at the counter, but make sure you obviously call to make sure that there's um, room for your, your pet. Now, um, obviously you want to arrive on time. If it's your first time flying with a pet and you don't have that experience, I would suggest arriving about 25 minutes, well, two hours and 25 minutes early. Um, and if you're with someone, definitely, I think that that will be helpful. If, if you're with someone that has that experience, make sure you, you get there um, early just in case they're like, ma'am, this bag is too big. Because, you know, there's always that one person that works for a certain company. We even, we know those people that take it overboard. Like, ma'am, can I just get through my bag? Okay. Um, another thing, bring your dog's medical records just in case. Because um, your dog should get some shots. Is it the rabies shots? So make sure you do that. Uh, bring some dog treats and little bag and baggies. Bring, you know, the little baggies to pick up their poop. You want to make sure you do that. This bag here, it has this little pouch, little area. And I put some dog treats in there, little bacon. A leash. You want to make sure you have a leash because what you want to do when you get to the airport, walk your dog. If you're, if you're going to a connecting flight, walk your dog. After your flight, walk your dog because you don't want your dog to have an accident inside an airport. I haven't had that embarrassing moment. I'm actually quite surprised I haven't. And you, I mean, you may stop feeding your dog like a, a few hours prior to your flight or the night before just to be safe. So yeah, make sure you bring, um, you bring a, a leash, bring a bag, little baggies, just in case your dog has an accident. Bring some napkins. That's what I do as well. Um, and that's about, that's, that's it for the little, for the bag. If yours come with that, awesome. So bathroom breaks, make sure that happens. Take your dog. Let me see. So yeah, you can take your dog out the back. So this is what, when you go through security, you're going to have to take your dog out of the bag, push this through the scanner, hold your dog in your hand, in your arms and walk through security. And what they usually do is like swab your hands. You know, and then they'll look at the dog and probably pet him and ask you questions. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's <laughs> I'm like, he's one. Yeah, he's bad as heck. So um, that's what you would want to do. As well, something else that I do, I also bring some little, I want to make sure that I cover all my points. I bring some tissues for myself. They sell these at Walmart, like three for 99 cents. Um, for myself or for my dog, like if I have to wipe around his face or something, some wet wipes, just in case any accidents. And now you have to wipe your hands, but you're squished in between two people. Like I'm so paranoid to even get up and go use the restroom while my dog is under that seat because he's so bad, y'all. I'm like, he is not going to go off while I'm in the bathroom. So you want to bring some wet ones, bring some hand sanitizer. You can get all of these at Walmart, 99 cents. Well, not this. This is Bath and Body Works. It's $1.75. And I bring baby wipes as well, just in case I need to wipe my dog's face or wipe anything. And that's that's really about it. Um, I don't think I missed on any major points, but make sure you bring your records, you know, just in case. Bring some treats for your dog in case he goes crazy. You can put a little toy inside the bag like I did. Um, but that's about it. After you have your first experience of flying with a dog, I think that you're a little less... Um, nervous and you have less anxiety and i really hope that these tips have been helpful to you thank you again for supporting beauty defined and at some point i'll introduce you all to prince and he is so bad i can hear him barking downstairs um but i do appreciate you all love you all and you have a blessed night baby 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 from the day i saw you i really really want to catch your eye there's something special about you And I must really like you Cause not a lot of guys